come back to the little reef. So, um, in one of my last videos, I explained to everybody that unfortunately we got ick, or what I thought was ick, in my main display tank on my royal blue tank. Since then, um, we set up our hospital tank. Um, just a very basic setup plain bottom, couple of rocks so they don't get really stressed with nothing to kind of hide behind. Um, air bubbles just to keep the water more aerated so they don't struggle with their breathing because of what I thought was the ick in their lungs. Um, and then just heater and pump. Really basic setup. Um, but as I showed, that was just stripping down my previous freshwater tank as an emergency to get set up so I could try and save my fish. So, since then. Um, we have discovered it's not ick, um, or at least I don't think, unless I'm still learning. So I don't know if it's possible to get ick and marine velvet at the same time. Um, but I started to lean more towards it being marine velvet. Um, Dory was absolutely riddled at some points. Um, and it seemed to be that the spots were very, very small, really, really close together. Um, when from what a lot of what I've read, um, white spot ick typically tends to be slightly more noticeable, slightly bigger spots, ever so slightly more spaced apart and so on. Um, a sign of velvet is maybe a bit of a goldy tint to it, um, which I think I possibly saw as well. Um, so, try and save the fish. So what we've been doing, um, as I mentioned, is cupramine. Um, we've got our Seachum's Cupramine and our Seachum's Multi-Test Copper. Um, now, I'm going to be doing a different video on it, but originally, um, after reading everything, this is what I wanted to use, but couldn't find it in the UK anywhere. Um, I don't know why, but I was really struggling when I first looked, couldn't find it. So, I bought this crap. Save your money, don't waste your time. Dyes everything blue, doesn't do absolutely anything. Um, the bottle's empty, well, pretty much empty, there's a tiny little dribble left, and it did nothing. Um, if anything, I found that it potentially stressed the fish out more, um, and as I say, at one point, the royal blue tang was still absolutely riddled with this, so... I don't know if some people have had good reviews, there was reviews that said it was decent when I bought it, but um, it did absolutely nothing. So moving on, in the meantime, luckily, I managed to find Cupramine. Um, Amazon Prime was 25 quid. I managed to find a company uh, outside of Amazon. I just think it was 14 pounds for a 100 mil bottle. Um, an average dosing is like four, three, four mil, I think. Um, so yeah, I think there's a fair bit there that should last a while. Um, have already done my first dose because of not using this before um, and it being really sensitive, wanting to make sure that I'm looking after my fish and I'm getting it right, I didn't film the first time, um, I just wanted to get it done, so I have already dosed once but that was two days ago, um, second dose is after 48 hours which is today, so we're going to give it a go and film the second time, um, we're going to dose. Um, I'm not going to be doing the, the test straight away, I'm going to do a separate video on this, but then I will do a how-to video on testing the water after we've dosed Cupramine with the Seachum's multi-test kit, um, and then that way you can monitor what you, the amount of, sorry, of this you've put in, um, and then monitor it with this to make sure that you're at the therapeutic level, so we can test for the ick, or kill the ick even, and the velvet. Um, so let's take a quick look back at the tank. Fish seem to be doing a hell of a lot better now. There was um, a few days ago, there was a period where my clowns were looking really lethargic, not really swimming, barely eating, um, did start getting me worried. But as I say, have done my first dose. And since that, uh, at the moment, because uh, you do half and half, so first dose takes it to 2.5, um, I think it's millilitres, milligrams of per litre maybe, um, of copper. And then the second dose takes it up to five. Um, but even with the first one, which isn't really at the therapeutic level yet, I think this is more sort of just easing them into it. Um, they seem to be a lot better. My tang, really active, eating, um, hardly any any evidence at all, sort of spots on it. Um, and again, the clowns are looking really good. Um, I've got my damsel in there, and somewhere in there is my royal grammar as well. Um, but all seem to be doing pretty good. Um, so there we go, there's the quick update on the tank, but let's get to uh, dosing the cupramine, how you do it, what we do, um, and go from there.
Right, so I'll try and show you this. There's the instructions. So as it says, turn off um, your UV steriliser, remove carbon filtration. Um, it is really harmful to any invertebrates. So if you are using um, cupamine, it's really important that you do it in just a, a fish-only um, empty quarantine hospital tank like I'm doing. Don't do it with any corals, crabs, um, shrimp, anything like that because it will kill them. So there's your instructions. Um, 20 drops for one mil per 40 litres um, which will get you to the 0 0.25 and then same again to get for the 48 hours later um, so we're on 48 hours later tank is 49 litres so uh, the last dose I did was 23 drops roughly um, the bottle's a bit erratic with dripping so it was a little bit of a struggle but um, I'll try and film it and I'll show you so um, we're gonna go with uh, 20 drops and then I'm gonna test it which you'll see in another video um, but we're gonna go with 20 drops because when I did the 23 in the last test um, I think we were sitting at um, about 3 uh, 0.3 it would have been uh, rather than 0.25 so because um, it drips a bit erratically I think I'd gone ever so slightly over um, so we'll go with the 20 slightly under to try and keep it balanced at the therapeutic level of 0.5 um, so let's give it a go ok let's put our bottle with our little dropper we're going for 20 drops Did you count? <laughs> I think I got 20. We shall see. There we go. That's about it. It's really straightforward. Um, as I say, from my first dose, I've seen really, really good results. Seems to be uh, really helping the fish. They look a lot better. Um, so, just a waiting game now. The display tank is empty. Um, got my crabs and things in there still, but nothing that the ick, um, slash marine velvet or whatever can attach to now. So, um, we'll just maintain it. We've got um, a six week wait of them in quarantine. Um, I only managed to catch my damsel and my royal grandma by pretty much dismantling and then rebuilding my main display tank today, which was a very frustrating period of time. Um, so the six weeks effectively starts again from today um, but I wasn't confident well it was pretty much pointless sort of doing a, a quarantine tank if I had half my fish in here and still left half in the other tank where they could have just continued the cycle of the velvet and the ick um, so yeah I finally got all the fish in here now um, so six weeks from today we will keep you updated keep an eye on the fish hope for the best um, and then fingers crossed once this period's all over we can slowly get our fish re reintroduced back into the main tank um, and then go back on our adventures of, of adding more fish and so on now I've got this tank set up um, it will obviously need big water changes and so on once I'm done with this um, and, and I clean out again but I will reset it up again as a quarantine tank so we can go back to buying some fish because I've got a few more on the list I want to get but there we go I think that's it for this one. Um, hope you enjoyed the update. Hope you like the tank and the quick, quick quarantine update tank. Um, and I hope you find the dosing cupramine video helpful. Um, if I can help with anything, any questions, please ask in the comments. Um, really appreciate anyone that likes, comments, and subscribes. Other than that, we'll see you in the next one.